Welcome on in. My name is Alicia and this is Enlightenment Newbie and this is my tarot series where I take a look at one card with with a traditional artwork and a non-traditional artwork and I read from the only tarot book you'll ever need by Sky Alexander and Mary Shannon and we we go over what I intuitively look and see and feel of the cards and then what they say. And sometimes they line up and sometimes they don't. And that's okay. So this is my fourth card for the day. I do five a day and then I post them for you guys, but I do them individually. And I've talked about the cards that I pulled together already because they're spectacular to me. <laughs> this, this is a great spread I wanted every day. Uh, but I got two of cups, four of wands, four of pentacles, 10 of pentacles, which I'm going to review in this video, and 10 of cups. I know. Right? Right. So the 10 of pentacles. This is the non-traditional image. And the reason that I'm showing, I'm doing this video is because... Well, one, I think that there's a lot of stigma around tarot cards and tarot readers. And I personally use tarot cards for myself as a divination tool. Divination meaning um, to tap into my intuition and try to hear or heed what spirit is communicating. Uh, I personally do not audibly hear messages from spirit but I do use my my gut to help me make decisions and many people believe that that is that is spirit if you just if you just turn off your mind and listen to what your heart what your gut says then you'll be making you already have the answers they're inside you tarot cards I feel very, very similar in that. You look at the card, you see what you need to see so that you can get the message you actually already know, but for whatever reason, you can't click it on. Although this one says I'm gonna be real rich and real happy, I don't, I'm not that yet, but heck, I'm down. If that just means I raise my vibes, baby, I will go up, up, up. I will raise, 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 and I will manifest and bring that into me. So here is the 10 of pentacles in a non-traditional. There are so many tarot decks and they don't all look the same. So like this is a traditional. See, they're way different. They're not the same. And that's okay, because we need to listen to the, and I'm rubbing my belly. <laughs> I wasn't actually airing the area of my belly, pretending to rub it. Um, so this is a dragon <laughs> and he is guarding his, his treasure. And it looks like there's some bones, and many people may have tried to, to defeat the dragon and take the treasure, but he is sleeping soundly. He has no worries. He is protecting his assets. Relaxed. Good. He's on a heap of money. He doesn't need any help. Good to go. And then traditional... So the Ten of Pentacles looking at this traditional, there's a, they're in some type of marketplace and there's a woman and a child and a man and potentially they could be a family. There is an, an older gentleman and there's two doggies and they're just, it's very casual. The lady has a nice little smirk at the man. But this is the, like there, there's no want in, an, in this card. When you start moving up the tarot, so each 
number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They can carry behind them a reoccurring type of message. And um, 10 is right before the page and the knight and the queen and the king. And if you look at ace as either a beginning, it's always a beginning, but it could be like a positive beginning or starting over, then it's an evolution throughout the tarot of you kind of leveling up, okay? So 10 of pentacles is a great card. You are at... The peak, there is no 11 of pentacles. <laughs> because once you get into pages, the message kind of changes because pages are messengers. So you've hit your limit. You did good. Okay, the 10 of pentacles is a happy card indicating a solid and secure life, both in business and with your family. Your work it and planning have paid off and you are enjoying the fruits of your labor. Upright, you are emphasizing home and family at this point, now that you have a secure income to support them. You may be planning to buy a car. <laughs> Did not get that. You might be planning to buy a car or that house you've always wanted. Family matters are at the forefront and you have the leisure to concentrate on personal affairs. This card can represent a time of financial security, such as marrying into money or receiving an inheritance. Well, for me, that those both are not happening right now. <laughs> but for someone out there, you get it. You may be so, oh, reversed. My apologies. You may be so established at this point that you are stagnating. Maybe you have retired comf comfortably, but are just sitting around watching TV. I love this book. You need to activate some growth in your life to avoid boredom. Take a hobby, do charity work, or teach others your skills. So if this shows up in reversed, you went out, you made all that money, now you're sitting on it, like that dragon. You're like, well, now what do I do? I busted my butt all these years and now I've got nothing to do. So it says, Go do something, preferably something that sets your soul on fire, because really, what's the purpose of this life if not to do what makes us respectfully happy? There's some things that make us happy you just shouldn't do. But joy, that's why we're here. We're here to raise the vibrations of the planet so that abundance, prosperity, happiness, all these things can just freely flow. We don't want to live in a low vibrational type of planet. That would be depressing because depression is low. Okay, man. And ladies, all the people, my name is Alicia and this is Enlightenment Newbie. We've got one more card, the Ten of Cups. Okay, come back. Let's see what I have to say.